Hey guys, it's Erin, That Crazy Thespian, and I have another video for you today. As you can probably tell from the title of the video, this is my what is inside my audition bag video slash what I take to auditions. So this is my bag. I got it from Abercrombie & Fitch, as you can tell. This is like an ultimate audition bag. I feel like for most auditions, I do not need all this stuff and I don't usually take all this stuff, but some auditions I do. And for most people, this is probably a little over the top for bringing things, but I am also pretty paranoid and like always think of like the worst scenario ever. So I also have a lot of stuff in case of emergencies and all that good stuff. And also like the audition might not have a huge dance audition. You might need not need like actual dance clothes for it and blah, blah, blah. So honestly, it all depends. So yeah, so let's get into the bag. So first I have my music. I usually bring two copies, um, usually like the book and then the printed copy that I make because here I'm gonna do this like Gregory Gorgeous the whole. Yeah, there we go, like GG. Um, but anyways, usually I put this in a binder because it's a lot easier for the accompanist to read and the accompanist at your audition is your best friend. They can help or hurt you in your audition so it's really nice to respect them and be nice to them and polite and be polite with them in their music and this I think is upside down so yeah, I like to put it in here because it keeps the pages from flying while they're trying to play because you want them to focus on playing your music and not trying to keep your page from turning. So keep it in a binder and then also clearly mark um, where you want to start and exactly where you want to stop and then make sure to tell them in the audition the tempo you want to take it in. Um, and if you can't like conduct it to them, at least sing like the first line or so. And also I suggest writing in little things if you want to be more free than what the music allows you to or what's written in the music, write down a note to them and just say like follow me or like if you're gonna put a fermata on a note that doesn't usually have a fermata in it, make sure you write it, make sure you write it very clear so that will, they will see it and they won't continue playing without you knowing so then you can do the best that you can do in your audition. So yeah, and always make sure to thank your accompanist and thank everyone in the audition room. Water, make sure you drink lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of water. Um, and refill if you can, especially if you have like a dance audition before a voice audition, because first of all, you're gonna be tired from all the dancing. And then second of all, you're gonna wanna rehydrate your voice for your singing audition, so drink lots of water. I usually bring one of the Victoria's Secret bottles, which is like, four of these and then just keep on refilling it all day um but yeah a plastic water bottle works just fine as well i suggest also bringing like a body spray especially if you have a dance audition so that you smell nice but don't go crazy with this i'd say just do one spritz and don't use like a heavy perfume or a strong perfume i'd say use like a light fragrance body mist this is from bath and body works and it's not too florally or not too fruity which is a lot of scents that people are like allergic to and you really don't want to like set anyone's allergies off during an audition because then that's bad. Also this one you have to bring and use a lot of, okay? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, deodorant. Yes, bring this and put it all over, especially when you have a dance audition. Even if it's just a singing audition, you're probably going to be nervous, so wear lots of this <laughs> and refresh if you have to. You will thank me later, and the people at your audition will thank me later. Enough said. Also, if you are going to be at an audition all day, bring food. Um, This is like the only kind of snacky thing I had in my cabinet because I need to go grocery shopping. And this is just like a fruit leather, but I would suggest like fruit leathers, um, dried fruit, um, nuts, granola bars, protein bars, all that jazz. Something that's not gonna like, not like milk or something that's gonna uh, in your throat, but just something healthy and delicious that's filling and so you're not starving, but nothing that's too heavy that you're gonna feel lethargic when you dance or sing. So just a light snack. Um, probably bring a couple if it's gonna be like a long day event. Next I have this little baby screwdriver. This is for my tap shoes because my taps come loose really easy. I also usually bring extra screws, but most of you probably don't have that issue, so 
that's just an errand problem, I guess. This goes out for all my ladies who are blind. I'm not blind. I don't usually wear glasses or contacts, but sometimes my eyes get irritated, so I just bring these just in case. But yes, some glasses. Especially if you wear contacts, and then if you wear contacts, bring a contacts case or whatever, because you do not want to have irritated eyes during audition. Actually, right before my jury second semester, I got, like, something in my eye, and it was, like, five minutes before my jury, and I was, like, freaking out and, like, trying to, like, get crap out of my eye. It was not a fun time. Next, I suggest bring headphones, um, and with your phone or iPod, just listen to music, um, if you have some downtime, obviously, and, you know, I have to, like, practice for the audition. Um, I find if I'm at an audition all day, and I have a lot of people to audition, there is some downtime, and instead of psyching myself out for my audition, I listen to music, and then I watch a lot of Miranda Sings videos, and then next I have a makeup bag. I like this, especially if I have a dance audition before, um, a voice audition because my face gets all gross and sweaty and greasy and nasty and shiny kind of like it's getting now but we're just gonna deal all right first I have these little shine sheets um these will these are just little sheets um Neutrogena makes them Sephora like these I got these because they were only five bucks they're usually on sale for five dollars Elf makes them for a dollar they're all the same you literally just pull out a little sheet blot your face and if you don't have these Literally, you can go into the bathroom and use toilet paper and it's the same. Just make sure it's clean and just dab it all over your face and it will help you not get shiny. Floss. Um, why would I need floss unless like I eat like a granola bar or something? Like, but usually that stuff doesn't get stuck in my teeth. If you have braces, definitely. But like for, yeah, I don't know. Bring floss because you don't want to sing and have like stuff in your teeth. Then I have my MAC Fix Plus concealer. This is a very thin concealer, but it also has a lot of coverage. So if I have like a breakout and it's starting to peek through because like I'm sweating off my makeup, this will work wonders because it's very, very, very pigment pigmented and it will cover everything and leave you with a nice finish. And then after either putting that on or oil blotting my face, I will apply more powder. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte. I showed this in my last video. If you would like to see that video on what I keep in my makeup trend case and what I wear as stage makeup, I will link that video down below. Sorry, little self plug there. And then this is the Kabuki brush that I also had in that video. And I just dab it on and then dab it on my face and we're good. And then also in the makeup bag, I have a little MAC Fix Plus because I like to spray that on my face. I have a tinted lip gloss. This is a NYX lip butter. I really like this because it's very neutral and it has a nice color to it. It's like a your lips but better color which I really 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 like as well. And then I also have some suggestions that I do not have in this bag. Um, I would recommend for ladies bring some tampons just in case or pads or whatever because you never know when mother nature is going to come a calling and it could be on audition day which god bless if that happens. And in any case it does, make sure you're well prepared. And then also, I usually have this in my bag, but I took it out um, on accident. But a little mini hairbrush, and I usually have hair ties on my wrist. But an extra hair tie, bobby pins, so you can tie your hair back during the dance audition. Typically, the people running the audition should tell you what you should bring to the dance audition. But in case they don't, and they don't tell you anything, and like the show has like tap dancing in it and all kinds of dance in it, um, here's what I would suggest bringing. Alright, first of all, I'll just bring a pair of normal character shoes. These are some old Capigios I had. I prefer for auditions the shorter ones with like the one inch heel, I think, and then not the T-strap ones, just the normal strap ones. And then these are old and loved a lot, so they are duct tape at the bottom so I don't slip. I don't know. I just like character shoes. I like to tailor them to me, and these are oldies but goodies, and they don't really fail me. And if there is a tap audition, then... Obviously bring some tap shoes and like I said earlier I have my little screwdriver in case you have these shoes and your taps come unscrewed all, all the time But yeah, just some tap shoes and then also I recommend bringing a pair of flat shoes Whether it be jazz shoes or ballet slippers. I couldn't find my jazz shoes before this video So I just threw these in here. These are just some ballet slippers something flat tights or leggings um, I would suggest white, black, or pink, black dance shorts, or a wrap skirt, and then this is just a pink wrap skirt. Woo! And then a leotard. This is my leotard. 
I try to stay a little modest during dance auditions because I'm self-conscious. But, yeah. This one, in, if you want to make it sexier, you can make it off the shoulder. So, yeah. Just a leotard. So, yeah. That is everything that is in my audition bag and what I would bring to an all day long audition event. I hope you guys like this video. I have a couple other videos that I have filmed in the past couple weeks and those will be linked below or you can find them on my channel including a what's in my makeup case video so if you'd like to see some of the products featured in this video they're also in that video as well. And then I plan on making a rehearsals outfits of the day slash like lookbooks and then um audition lookbooks because there's lots of different kinds of auditions you got casual you got fancy college auditions and so on and so forth and then um i also want to make hair tutorials for like rehearsal hairstyles things that will stay out of your face for like dance and dance auditions and all that stuff so those videos will be coming soon i would like to get some of my friends help because i want some guys opinions in there and some guy outfits and stuff so i will get my friends on that to help me with those videos so yeah thank you so much for watching this video is kind of long i'm sorry but i love you so much stay crazy my thespians i love you bye